metallic solid is made up of a solid cylindrical base with a solid cone on its top the radius of the base of the cone is 5 cm the ratio of the height of the cylinder and the cone is 3 to 2 a cylindrical hole is drilled through the solid with height equivalent to two thirds of the height of the solid what should be the radius of the hole so that the volume of the hole is one third of the volume of the metallic solid after drilling actually one mistake i made i did not see this after drilling i kept on putting one third it's a very interesting question i'm going to draw the diagram and then start from there and so there is a cylinder on top of which sits a cone and so the ratio of the height is 3 is to 2 that to be 3h and 2h right? so we can find this area so we don't know what the the, the radius is 5 cm this is fine lovely so we can find the volume of the cylinder volume of the cone the whole thing then what do we do a cylindrical hole is drilled through the solid with a height equal to two thirds of the height of the solid. So two thirds of phi h, which is a pain. Two thirds doesn't doesn't multiply well. Two thirds of phi we have a, a, a non-integer. What I'm going to do? Two thirds of something should be an integer. This thing I want it to be a multiple of three. So two plus three is phi. That doesn't work. So I'm going to make it as six h and nine h. That's fifteen height. Two thirds of that is ten h. So, I'm drilling a hole with the height of 10 h. Radius, I don't know. After I've drilled this hole, the volume of the hole is one third of the volume of the remaining metallic drill, metallic solid after drilling. So, this volume is one third of the, the remaining, or if this volume were V, Volume of the remaining is 3V. Volume of the total thing, therefore, is 4V. Now we are through. So volume of cylinder is pi into, into phi square into 9H. Volume of the cone is 1 by 3 pi into phi square into 6H. Add these two. We get volume overall. This is this whole volume that is 4V. Or take this thing, multiply that by 1 by 4, we'll get this cylinder's value, which is pi into R square into 10H. And so what will disappear? Pi's will disappear across the board. This pi will go, this pi will go, this pi will go. H will disappear, H will go, H will go, H will go into 1 by 4. So that can come here, make it 40 R square. 1 by 3 into pi, into phi square into 6. So phi square into 6 is 25 into 6, 150. But we can cancel the 1 by 3 into 6 is 2. Phi square into 2 is 50. Phi square into 9. Is 25 into 9, 225. So this is 50 plus 225. 5 square into 9 is 25 into 9, 225. 5 square into 25 into 250. 50 into 225 into 1 by 4 equals R square into 10. 275 by 4 equals R square into 10. Cancel off uh, phi here, this becomes 2, 275 by 5, 5, 5, 55 by 4 is 2r square, or r square is 55 by 8, or r square, r square root of 55 by 8. Yeah, we have that done. What do you want to find? What should be the radius? We need to find the radius. Radius is square root of 45 by 8. It's a pain. What I missed here is this after drilling. So my entire equation, I was finding the volume of this cylinder. And I plugged it as one third of volume of this cylinder plus cone. That doesn't work. It should be one fourth. And that's where I got it wrong. And I got root of 55 by 6. And I was super peeved with myself. And so and any, for the guy should have given one choice as root of 55 by 6. I was writing that down, marking, earning my negative mark and going around. Luckily, they didn't do this. I could go back and find out my error. Thank you.